Welcome back to the Getting Started with Harmony series. So since we've got our workspace set up, uh, the next step before we jump into animating or drawing or anything fun like that is we're going to get our preferences set up as well. So some more behind the scenes stuff that I swear will make your life easier once you get started animating in Harmony. So to get to our preferences, we're going to go edit up at the top and then down at the bottom you'll see preferences. Go ahead, click on that. And so these are just a few preference changes that I've discovered uh, over my years of working with the software. Just make things go a lot easier. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is click on the general tab here. So there's a few things in the general tab that you can change kind of based on your preference. And there's one thing that I definitely suggest you change uh, because it's, it's only gonna do good stuff for you. So the very first thing is over here. Uh, you can see I've got focus on mouse enter uh, checked. And that's because uh, when that's turned on and coming to my main screen, you'll see that any window I go to we'll get a red highlight around it, and that means that it's the active window. And that automatically occurs whenever I move my mouse cursor into it. However, if that's turned off, I go back to preferences here, general, unclick that, hit OK. Now you'll notice there's no red box when my mouse enters. In order to activate the window, I need to click on it for it to become the active window. And I find that I'm moving between windows so quickly when I work that having to click to activate every time would be just sort of annoying and, and interrupt my flow. You know, so I like to have that turned on. Uh, your preference may vary, and that's why it's in the preferences area. So I like to have that on. Now next is down here, the use dark style sheet. You'll see it says that it re requires relaunch for it to activate. So the dark style sheet, I have it active, and that's why all the windows in Harmony are kind of this dark gray color. It's easier on the eyes, easier on the monitor. You know, somebody might tell you it uses less power. I don't know anything about that, but uh, I find this a little bit more soothing to look at for 8 to 10 to 12 hours a day. So I definitely like having the, the dark style sheet on. If you'd like a more classic kind of look to the window so it's all bright white, uh, go ahead and turn that off and it'll get a, a more standard sort of a look to your style sheet. All right, the next option is down here. We've got levels of undo and anybody who's used Flash or Photoshop or other uh, editing or uh, creative software is, is used to this. Uh, so levels of undo uh, is how many times you can hit undo before it stops you from doing it. Um, the default is set to 50. You can set that to whatever makes you comfortable. I will of course set mine to 1 because I don't make mistakes. Alright, let's be realistic. 99 is a bit better. So those are all the optional ones that you'll want to change based on your preferences, but the one I'm going to guarantee you want to activate here is make sure that stop motion keyframes has a check beside it. If that is not checked, then every time you create a keyframe in Harmony, it will automatically create auto-tweening from one key to another key. That makes doing any sort of posing or drawing really frustrating and uh, and just super hard to work with, so I would suggest definitely having that turned on so that your drawings stand alone and they won't be auto-tweened unless you specifically turn auto-tweening on. All right, so we're gonna skip camera, we're gonna skip node view, we're gonna skip exposure sheet, we're gonna skip drawings, template, timeline, sound, OpenGL, uh, render. There's all sorts of different options and items in here. It's all very confusing, uh, especially to first-time users, and there's stuff in here that is useful, but nothing that's sort of life or death at the start. So we're gonna go right on down to advance. So click on your advanced tab and I'm going to strongly suggest that you turn on support overlay and underlay arts. So that is off by default and I don't understand why because when that is off you only get two drawing layers for every one of your drawings and when it's turned on back to my advanced tab hit OK you get four layers on every drawing and why you wouldn't want four layers I cannot understand. So definitely make sure that preferences, advanced, support overlay and underlay arts is activated. And that's pretty much it as far as preferences goes. Those are the, uh, the number one most important preferences to have active when you get started in uh, Harmony. And the last thing I want to talk about now is shortcuts. Harmony has an extremely generous number of shortcuts that you can set to be whatever your heart desires. And I just want to talk about four of them today and they're probably the four most important shortcuts that you will use. Now these shortcuts are buried underneath all these different menu options you can see just how many shortcuts there are and this can be a little bit intimidating as well to the first time Harmony user but again just like a lot of features in Harmony it's fully featured but that doesn't mean you need to use all the features. Luckily Harmony provides this handy search function here which lets us hunt down keyframes really easily. So the first one we're going to look for is I'm going to click here and I'm going to type insert keyframe and you can see that Harmony automatically jumps to it in the menu here so we got insert keyframe and you can see that by default yours is probably set to F6 as the default and that's uh, all fine and dandy. Um, however, if you want to change the key that is the hotkey, you can just click on this area here 
press the key you want to be the hotkey. And if there's some sort of conflict, Harmony will bring up this window here, which is great because there is usually conflict because so many hot, uh, shortcuts are available to you. And you can choose what to do with this conflict. Now I usually do uh, replace. So instead of F6, now number five is my shortcut for insert keyframe. And also be careful that sometimes these uh, shortcuts will show up multiple times in these menus because you can access them in different parts of the software. So after you've found insert keyframe once, I can just hit this arrow. It'll pop over to the next instance of it. So I've got insert keyframe and duplicate drawing. Not interested in that. Hit it again. And you can see I have another insert keyframe here. This is under the timeline view. So I want this to be the exact same hotkey. So I'm going to click here. Hit five. That conflict detected comes up again. But instead of replace, I want to duplicate it this time because I want to use five for the insert keyframe in the timeline option and still use five for the insert keyframe in the, I believe it was the uh, camera or the general option. So I can duplicate and now five is useful for all my insert keyframes. Another important shortcut is the opposite of this. It's the delete keyframe. So I can just search for that. Takes us over the timeline. So delete keyframe. It'll be set as F7 for the default. I like to set it as six. So you can see a pattern emerging for my preferred shortcuts. I got five as my insert keyframe and six as my delete keyframe. And that's the only instance of delete keyframe that appears. The next one that's important is set motion keyframe. And this is a uh, awkward way of saying turn on in-betweens or turn on auto tweening. Uh, Toon Boom uh, uses the, the phrase set motion keyframe for that. So to turn on auto tweening, the default shortcut is control K, which is perfectly fine. But because I like to keep my big four together, I've made it number seven on the keyboard. So five, six, seven are all being used. And after set motion keyframe, the next most important one is, and I can just scroll down here to see it, set stop motion keyframe. Again, sort of an awkward way to say turn off auto tweening. So set motion keyframe is to turn on auto tweening. Set stop motion keyframe, turn off auto tweening. And as you probably guessed, I've got that set to eight, but the default hotkey, which is perfectly fine if you want to use it, is control L. So insert keyframe, delete keyframe, set motion keyframe, and set stop motion keyframe are the big four hotkeys that you're going to want to learn because it'll save you a lot of time to use the hotkeys as opposed to uh, right clicking or going to menus to, to activate those options. Once you've got your shortcut set up, you can hit OK, close that window, and we're ready to get started drawing and animating in Harmony. And we'll get going with that the next time I talk to you. Until then, good animating.